Howdy folks, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on basic tip-up maintenance. Um, when you ice fish with tip-ups, you're going to want your tip-up to be spinning like it's brand new every time. But you'll notice over the course of the ice season, uh, your tip-ups might start to slow down a little bit. That spool isn't going to spin as easily. You want this spool to spin fast with very little resistance. When the fish pulls on it, when the fish takes your bait, you don't want them to feel the reel. Um, you want them to, to feel your bait and swim away just like it's natural. Some fish are very, very shy when it comes to resistance. Uh, uh, something like a walleye or a trout, especially steelhead and lake trout, if they even feel that little tiny bit of resistance, they'll drop your bait and, uh, and you're not going to catch the fish. So, what we do is we're going to just take a little bit of reel grease. This is just basic real grease available at your local tackle shop same stuff you use on the the uh, on the gears in your spinning reels or your bait caster reels and we're just going to take a little drop of this real grease here put a good drop right here get the camera angled right i want to put a good drop right here there we go that on there and we're going to want to put a good drop right here on the top. I want to get that good and greased. Then you're going to want to, uh, once you get that good and full of grease, you want to take your tip up and just kind of go like this. Get that grease um, up in there, up into this part as, as far as you can basically. Um, this is the one time when you know you can be pretty liberal with the amount of grease that you're going to apply. And um, yeah, you want to get a good glob of grease in there. You notice that this thing slides a lot easier. And then afterwards, your tip up is going to be spinning just like it is brand new. All right, one more time. This one here is a really old tip up. <laughs> you can see it's got uh, it's got some uh, some rust on it. It's not spinning as well as I'd like it to be. So we're going to uh, take some grease. Take some grease, apply it to right here, this bar right here underneath, put a good, good glob on there. Alright, got that ungreased up, now we're going to want to put a good glob on the top here. Good glob on this part here, Go on this side. Lob. Cool, got lots of grease on there again. With tip-ups you can be liberal. With bait casters and spinning rods and stuff you don't want to apply too much grease, but tip-ups you sorta, of, you can't apply too much grease. You can pretty much put on uh, a good glob. You want to try and get as much grease, you know, down into this section as you can. And, uh, and it'll work its way in there too, just over time. And wow, I mean I can already tell this thing is spinning much nicer. My hook keeps getting stuck on there, which it's a good thing, that's what you want to happen, so it doesn't come apart in your sled, but... Alright, cool. Feels like a brand new tip-up. You can see this thing's old and rusty, but it's spinning just perfect now. You know, when that walleye grabs this, it's not going to feel that resistance. That's what we want. So, pretty easy, pretty fast. I do this, I don't know, about twice in ice season, usually once in the very beginning, and uh, once about halfway through when I notice that my tip-ups are starting to not spin as fast. I mean, if I was a, an ice fishing guide or something, I'd probably be greasing them every time I went out or every time I was going to take a new client out or something like that. I mean, you can get crazy if you want to get really professional about it. But for me, twice a season I do that, and, uh, and my tip-ups run good all season. It's just some basic, quick tip-up maintenance. That's really the only thing you ever need to do with these things. Every once in a while you need to rewrite your address on there when they wear off. Sometimes the flags fall off and you need to put a new flag on it, but you know, tip-ups are a lot easier to maintain than, uh, than, than spinning gear, that's for sure. So, hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next fishing adventure.